This brings you to me, uh -oh. or like I say, me to you, etc. Uh -oh. And um, uh -oh. I'm gonna not go as long as I normally do reading my encyclopedia. Oh, you can read yes. Oh, well, <laughs> sure. oh, yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm gonna begin with a few pieces of haiku, and then you'll see. Now, Johanna was into nature, and you all know, so some of these, these are high in nature, so I'm not well. Here's a, okay. So this is your metaphysical haiku. If you ever metaphysical, let me know. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Until it's yanked off your flesh. <laughs> oh. I love that one. Simple. And I like this one. Loosening my belt at Christmas time with my family. The tree tilts and goes out. <laughs> For those partiers, partiers amongst you, well, a cigarette smashed out. In the guacamole, oh. the morning after. after. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then these are the, the natural light. Great harvest moon, low in the clear, starry sky, still in the pond. This one, the other one, and the other one, so it'll be very fast for you folks out there. Swift over the pond, the ripple shadow, dragonfly, low enough for the frog. <laughs> this is just metaphysical. A single leaf, clearly singing. How can this be heard? <laughs> I'm going to close with this because this is a poem I wrote for Johanna at the time, but it, it really wasn't there, and I don't know if it is now, but it's the kind of thing that the subject matter carries it rather than the quality of the writing. So oh, Johanna. She was a heart. She was a song. She was a poet. She was a beauty. She was a voice. She was a dancer, she was a lover, she was a mother, she was a sister. She was a voice, she was clear-eyed and visionary. She was an elder with wisdom, she spoke with bears, forests, and stars. She was deep-minded, druid, she was a voice. She was rock and stream, she was season and wind, she was fire and incense, she was cloud and illusion, she was a voice. She was a singer and teacher. She held the universe with care. She was kindly, soft-seeming, yet tempered. She spoke her mind, could laugh and cry. She was a voice. She was a lover of learning. She was a watcher of stars turning. She was mentoring, mild. She was sacred grounds where she'd let people hold time. And she was a voice full, honest, and loving, who help others find theirs. Thank yes. you so much. Yes.